life. Okay. This one to begin with. <clears throat> if you have uh, followed my YouTube channel at uh, uh, youtube.com slash blue heron arts this morning, you might have seen the process of did this uh, plein air sketch, um, outdoor, outdoor sketch bef uh, before I entered the classroom. Um, I think it was done within 15 minutes, right? Um, <clears throat> I used this uh, shot handled brush so I can carry it with my uh, uh, little sketch kit. I have pens, pencils, uh, you know, I, have, I got two brushes in there. You can also use uh, a large one like uh, you bought in the classroom. Oh. That's the same. And I have this one, it's number three. This is number one. And the, the one you got probably is the number two. So they are called the wrist brush, or uh, short handled brush. Um, and then I use this uh, ink cake. Uh, in the classroom, I can just use the ink cake uh, with ink, because the paper I'm using may be too, too big, or I just continue to use it. Let's see how it works. So basically, I uh, wet the brush. This morning, we got uh, uh, rain water pours uh, pu puddles in the, on the ground uh, near a, 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 I, I set my camera near a tree. There's a, uh, the root area with a lot of puddles of water. So I just got water there on the side. And I wet the, the pants like this. Okay. Yeah. And then you squeeze out extra pants to paint. Here, um, the style we're going to follow is called the uh, football shoe style. In very few uh, artists have this uh, privilege, or uh, what they call this. Uh, uh, the technique is named after the person. Usually, it describes like uh, the hemp fiber uh, texture or X cut. Mm -hmm. uh, only one or two person. It, others, the other one I can recall is Mi Dot. Mi is the last name of the uh, artist, a uh, uh, father and the son. Yeah, actually, large Mi and small Mi. Dots, the horizontal dots. Fu uh, Bashi is the only person. Um, he had invented this uh, split, split uh, brush stroke. Split. So uh, his brush stroke is very uh, unique, okay? And you don't have to use the specialty brush, although we try to make it. But according to an expert in, the, uh, in Nanjing, he's uh, the uh, director of the museum, uh, the, his uh, home museum, um, he, he just used a new brush, a good brush, and then just make it split. To paint, then you can you can see me doing it. Um, so I'm going to do the you can do the building first. In Fu Bao's approach, he called this nail down the subject, the the what nail down the what first. It's it's a nailing tech, uh, concept. And after that, he is free, concentrate on the atmosphere, the environment, uh, not. So nothing will be more detailed, more um, informative than the, the nail. So we should put the nail first. Uh, I, I omitted many things. If you paint large, you can include the, you know, the, some features of the building. Very nice. I, when I walk in, I see this kind of like pillaring uh, things. Uh, there are eight of them in front, around the building. It's like a sculpture thing with a, a pot on top, right? I omit those today. So I just concentrate on the, on the basic feature. And you can start, I started with the three arcs, or arches, right? So th this one actually should be bigger, I think. 
I made them the same. So let's, let's do this two first. So this arch is almost touching the roof. It's a really huge window. That's what we, we see here. Can you see it? Yeah. Is it uh, um, just uh, almost like the ceiling high? So you can do that. And you don't have to do a complete, uh, because there's some in front of that, and maybe trees or other features of the building. So we, we leave some broken. Uh, I also, I try to indicate the shading. So it's maybe so one side is more heavier, or it, some loss in the front edge is, is fine. More suggestive or loose, it's OK. <laughs> and then the, this side has the one like we see here, and then this one is a shot, uh, full shot end, full shot end. And this one is a big one, let's make it bigger. And then the wall should be higher. It's different structure, it's like a castle or something. We just, we make it into that scale. And this is the side. And the entrance is on the, you don't really see, I think. So I'm going to draw this roof. Okay, here's number one thing that Shufal should always do. In traditional painting, we always have the bird's eye view. The best angle is uh, uh, right on top of the tree, not in the sky. I try to do Google search, uh, Google map, or Google Earth, you know. It's too high, like satellite, we won't work for us. Street view is kind of too low. I did street view, so to, um, to visit some uh, strange places, you can use those tools, but uh, it won't work for our purpose, unfortunately. So, but in the past, the artists don't have the drawn, you know, things you can take pictures with, but they, um, they look at the building like, uh, they, they walk around, they understand the building, and then they think it and think like a, a, a little model. I, 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 I forgot, but uh, I have this kind of little uh, architecture of houses uh, that Victoria used for building miniature landscape or potted landscape, you know, with the uh, decorative the flowers, flower part, the, those things. So we, we look at it from that angle, it's kind of. So you treat this building almost like a little model little model you use in aquarium or, or miniature landscape, for bonsai landscape, right? You see, this uh, leaf, I um, have also lost and found eyes. You can have some shaky hand, shaking hand, kind of. And here's a window. We don't really do the square. We just suggest to maybe do a little, um, like a in incomplete, uh, F or something like that, or L, you know, something. It's there's another window or door, something like that. Um, and I, I guess draw this in, incomplete, suggestive features. And this line has to. That's why I give you the handout. So this uh, has to be some accuracy for the perspective. And I can make up the building we are in is right here, or something like that. Uh, so we, we just make it up. And, uh, maybe. Well, you just make, the, the, make it look believable. You, know, you can add more if you want. Or you can um, make some neighbors, but that's not important. So the most important part is uh, uh, this is three or four um, features. And you can see in my reference sent to you last, uh, yesterday, the, uh, the, the cave dwelling of Yang'an, uh, the wartime capital or the guerrilla capital of the Communist Chinese uh, Communist Party uh, during the wartime uh, the, in the 1940s. They lived in this kind of uh, dwelling and this Fuba Shi, uh, visited it there as a pilgrimage, a revolutionary part of the long march, uh, the revolutionary pilgrimage, and uh, did, he did a series of uh, paintings of those buildings. That's the style guide we try to 
follow, you know, he just simplified like this. Um, and then he, he would do some uh, trees just like a traditional painting. So I have this uh, trees here, uh, or I drew this uh, template from the, uh, the photograph I took. So we can use both as reference. And I think it, uh, this one is more fresh for me. So I will do this main. Um, the, the brush I did this morning, I did the tree first. Because I want to make sure uh, I have uh, enough new room for the trees. So especially this tree should be complete. We see the whole thing from the bottom to the top. And this one, um, so this is not traditional to paint a tree, you know, uh, like this, but uh, it's more um, what, it, what we, we see through the camera or real life. Uh, so here is uh, uh, some, some key branches. I want to make sure I have them. I call uh, this tree, maybe we use the same, the concept of uh, um, the deer horn or stack horn concept. So basically, uh, you can do two on left side and then two on right. So that's a four, basically four stroke for deer horn, right? And then you add to it, um, another four or you know, something like that. That's a very traditional way of thinking. Uh, I can just go, just go away from, after I do this uh, kind of key frame, I just, just draw the tree trunk. <clears throat> so you, you can um, make the contour more like the Ma Yuan style, you know, that kind of, that we learned the Southern Song style, or Fubao uh, style, he used a kind of fine line, I think, to do the texture and then wash. And the, trunk, uh, the tree roots should be kept uh, relatively simple, but th because this is the main tree, so we do need to indicate the, the roots more. Um, the light is coming this direction this morning, so I'm going to maybe follow this sketch here. Um, and some branch should go to inside the trunk, in front of the trunk, I think. Let's think about the four. Some thick, some, some uh, th thin variations. And, uh, that there. Okay, here is uh, a branch goes outside the frame. Okay. about it. <clears throat> so a little rim on top of the building. And we should see a little bit the top plane. Uh, and this I uh, make it uh, into the red. So something this is a flat roof. And here is the, the tennis court, maybe something like that. So it goes there and then here um, we should consider some perspective. I omit some lots of details. Don't have time to do all that. And it you should have a trail lead. You can go. You can have the trail entrance from there. And I I, I like to do that uh, steps. We walk to the street there. And I have reference uh, from Fu Bao Shi. Uh, one of his uh, paintings looked like this. You know, 
it goes up, but actually it goes down. Right? But you should vary the uh, to make it more like natural steps, not to cement. <laughs> Something like that. And actually, this line goes up, it goes, yeah, goes down and a curve, curves, curve. Let's make a diagonal. Let's do a diagonal. And this is perspective line, a little bit narrower, and then going down. It, it can, it, I think he omitted those. And you can put a, a little figure there for scale, scale, scale. Yeah. And on the corner, um, I'll wait. He did some plants there. It's like a, you can put a, a grass or some uh, bushes there. Um, here's a tree I want to do in completion, but um, I borrowed the classical style of a crab, crab fl flag. So this is the, the opposite of the stack horn. Um, let's just do a little bit bark. make um, a little bit believable, <laughs> that's it. Okay, this tree should be a little bit uh, lighter and smaller. Everything should be thinner too. So the tree is here. Okay. Um, remember we do how to do this tree? Okay, you start from the left um, side, right? And, Again, I try to frame the building, so it's like a, that. And then try to find that, that uh, split point, the double line here. It goes to the left, uh, to the right, and some Hang branches. Here is the, the crab leg style. It's just upside down of the horn. It goes uh, like this, the other direction. Okay. And when we do the willow, it's uh, just long, longer curves. Can you see? Mm -hmm. um, I tried to copy this, uh, this, this sketch I did earlier. So here's a branch goes like that. Nature is so beautiful. You can never beat nature <laughs> for it. Um, so four strokes actually, it's like an upside down, um, this character Jie, or Fen, Jie, Jian Kai Shi Jie, Jie, yeah, yeah, something like that, or Fen, Fen uh, like a penny, uh, the right, to, like that, so, or Jie, yeah, more like this. So three continuously, and then one uh, other direction. That's called crab leg. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I try to uh, f make the outer shape look in and out, not to uh, like uh, just a, a, a rounded, you know. So as long as 
in and out. Good. There's some, some something like that. There are leaves in front of the the uh, trunk, but uh, we don't have to. We we just do the the silhouette or the profile. Can we try not to do the three? I think we did this one. There's a dance area, and the spars, the dance and the spars. Look at the whole, football is the master of the wholeness. So he paints mess, it's mess instead of uh, details. Yeah, just uh, very good at like a wash, you know, of the whole atmosphere. He used large brush and he just, like a sweeping. <clears throat> Some bush, uh, we just using abstract. Uh, Some bushes, it, it could go taller, but uh, we just make it simple, maybe. Some, just put some bushes, like that. And they're rectangular. Uh, there's a like a like the sign. Do we want to maybe use that? And other features we like to look. Uh, I I tried. I I can show you the the one I tried that last night, but uh, not necessary to do. I really like those. If I do a small close up, I would do that. Yeah. You can, uh, uh, if we have time, we can try that. Um, the background, we need to add more water. <coughs> Just to, yeah, it's like a pine, pine tree, some, uh, just less detail than the front. Yeah. Okay, there's a there's a swimming pool at the north. Swimming pool area like that. There might be some fence or something. Yeah, but just the grave. Dry brush suggests detail. Yeah. Wet brush is uh, more distant. And here we can have some uh, I don't have any idea, just vary the skyline maybe just oh I need to have some room for the for the mountain. So the mountain should be small in the distance. So we the purpose is to kind of foil out the the beauty. Dry trees and some. This should be a little taller. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. And then the the final layer, we just use uh, maybe some blue directly. So it's not coloring it. Um, he will use dots to do the foliage, but uh, this is early spring season. Maybe we just do some dry leaves. That's it. I think we need to complete some missing part. <laughs> if needed, we can we can try the <coughs> Leaves, maybe in his style. 
I try to keep it to in the early spring mood. And I also want to show the uh, senior center, you know, has this longevity kind of tree. That's a tree. And it's still uh, healthy with leaves. That's it. Symbolically. Okay. <coughs> Do we need to do anything on this corner? The corner is the most difficult part to deal with. Uh, you can, I think he would, he had some, something there. So basically, you 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 can fill one corner and leave the other one. I think if we, I think we we're pretty good. Let me just do a little bit of. I, I saw some plants like the birds of Pir paradise, kind of. Yeah, so it's just uh, I'm thinking to frame that some profile of the. Yeah, it's fine. You don't have to paint all the way to the corner. I think you just. Yeah, that would be fine. Just to close that edge. should be lower. So let's uh, do the wash, the color. You can use a different brush. If you so Benton is a clean brush. And I've got some colors. He, he was educated in Japan, so his color is really uh, very close to his uh, um, Japanese uh, models, like uh, yeah, they are also influenced by the Western. So the color is uh, pretty realistic. Um, he is uh, kind of green, but he also stays with some ch very uh, simple colors, like the the, the opaque green. His uh, favorite, and then maybe a little bit. A little bit uh, yellow and uh, indigo to saturate it a little bit. But very pale for the long, for the grass. I, I think he, he used pretty light ones. This paper is uh, uh, antique, sh antique colored uh, mulberries. It has a nice uh, tone, tone, very light, light uh, yellow or birch color. Yes. That's it. Oh, I think that's okay. This sign should be green. This wall is a little bit green. This is green. This maybe this color. And uh, the the wall is bridge, um, that bridge. But uh, we try to keep it simple. So we just do color the roof with. Uh, this uh, yellow or what is it? terracotta? Uh, what terracotta? Terracotta. 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 Terracotta color. Yeah, it's basically brown, mm -hmm. but you can add a little bit of red or vermilion. Um, the yellow. I'm not sure. I just diluted. I think. And even some some white. Because it's in distance, the saturation. Is that, is that good? I think it's probably enough. Just to color that. 
Um, yeah, the light it should be this side, but classically from, from that side. So I'll I'll do this shot this side maybe a little darker. Anyway, you can you can, you can change that. Don't have to be consistent. Just has to be different. <laughs> And then a little bit shading on the E, I guess. Maybe. Okay, then you can you can add some leveling pauses or something like that. Triangular shape. That's Maggie's home home side. <laughs> <laughs> We have students who just uh, live very close, right down the street, you know, just, just put some color situation there. Yeah. So that's about it. I think, I think we need to make up a line here. That's the, uh, it's too, too wet. So if something um, you want to add, or you just have to wait. And then now we, do the wash and this tennis court is a little bluer it's a little bit uh, artificial so we'll just make it uh, a little bit Another trail in and the, the um, parking lot. We don't need to to do the wash. Okay. It's very important to find the white in your painting in, in watercolor too. I think the California artist is good at leaving white in the watercolor painting. Right. That's a. Uh, very important. Okay, this is everywhere. Oops, that's a lot of. We just put some 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 color. Mm -hmm. Suggest something. This should be. Okay, I'm going to do the, the mountain. The mountain. <coughs> Wilson, Mount Wilson. Um, I, I saw it on my way here. It's uh, just blue. Like uh, uh, last class, we did the uh, Chen Jialing's uh, uh, misty landscape. It just, but lots of clouds today. It's very nice. So then to, uh, let me just wash this tree and then just extend the color. So, you know, just same color going up. I think. So I'm just using some, some uh, indigo maybe kind of, just to do this wash first. Uh, he, he would wet it dry, but uh, I'll use dry brush, just kind of thin it without uh, Having to wait. So I just add a nice bluish gray to it. Mm. It's translucent, so you it won't cover. I try not to drip, that's my the ink is the bone. The color just uh, the the, the uh, blood maybe. <laughs> that's a slope. I think that's another area we need to put some yellow. 
but it's far, so I just leave it. It's like just, just muddy colors. Well, that's good. Some any color you 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 dilute it enough, it's uh, it's nice. Some white, oh, that's okay. That's okay. You'd rather add white instead of diluting it? Um, I, I, I will not add white, but accidentally I got some white there. So I just add more water to make it a semi translucent. So I can do this, uh, this, this, back, this background mountain like that. I heard that uh, last uh, last week the, uh, there's a new book written by Ben Maggie on the absorbatory. Yes, coming. I think coming out in June. What what is what? It's a scientific. Uh, it's a um, sort of like a photo essay. Oh, photo essay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I I I I like to indicate that because in my early work my I did the observatory of my hometown uh -huh. I will show you after this one uh, I brought it as promised and you can see that it's my uh, favorite uh, favorite it's subject. a photo history of the observatory observatory oh I see well, that's good I maybe you, yeah we can use that book in the future to paint but uh, I'm going to add that to, to the to the painting. It's a local. Oh, yeah. Can you set this back for another observatory? It's a, a, another observatory. Yeah, at Griffith Park. Yeah. Oh, Griffith is another one near <laughs> This is uh, the Mount Wilson Observatory. It's a it's a very famous scientific site. Yeah. So here is a sign. I'm going to do make it a little stand out. There's two red. And he had the sign right here, so, but we don't have to do that. It's a Johnson Center. Um, here we need some color to indicate the spring. So we just put a, maybe some. I see some like a cherry blossom here, or um, peach or whatever. When I walk in the building, so we can just do something like that. Okay. So th this color should be concentrated more in the focal area, maybe. This, you know, some sprouts of the bush could, could also be very reddish in the spring. Doesn't matter what they are. Okay, so that's about it, I think. Uh, we can put some reds here for the birds of pied eyes. Uh, they, they are yellow, right? We don't have to do that. Um, yeah, we can we can paint the cars if you like. <laughs> a car parking lot. Maybe we should uh, do a little bit. Or the bus. Maybe something like that. Um, okay, this tree trunk is missing. Right. So we need to put uh, some dark amber. I just use uh, this like a sepia, or the burnt tea, I think. Burnt tea plus a little bit of um, um, brown, so it's a little darker than, than brown. So that we can just go over the branches, highlight the branches. Highlighting. Uh, 
Is the house is behind it. Okay. His chair is broken a little bit. Okay. So, I see white clouds today. So you can do some clouds in the sky, but normally we don't paint that. <coughs> Not to trip this challenge. Still uh, kind of overcast outside with some bricks. So you can maybe get that kind of feel. I think this is a, a little bit uh, risky to do the sky wash. He, he normally does the uh, uh, it was, you know, the hot pink kind of uh, uh, light vermilion color for revolutionary uh, edge kind of symbol. The, the, the uh, sunny, sunny weather. So, yeah. But uh, maybe this. We can just do a little bit blue sky. See through a little bit, see through the cup maybe a little bit. Just the hint of uh, blue. A reflection on the ground, just a little purplish, whatever, gray, gray we have. But very, very light, light, yeah. Just to get rid of the, the white, I think that's... Okay, then a uh, little bit brown on this tree also. See how light it is? Just to uh, keep it light, yeah. Not to destroy the rhythm of the ink. This is Jocelyn Center. Um, do we have, have yeah, shall we do the figure? Um, maybe near there, I was thinking. He, he did something like this. So we can just put a little dots there. Um, you can do maybe some color for the people to Some red, some green, something. Just a little bit using small brush. <laughs> I just put a little dot for the head hair. So keep it small, and then just, just a little bit paint off the leg. Keep it like a, what do you call, carrots. <laughs> just a scale, you know, like that. Uh, yeah, if you do a figure here, you sh it'd be a little bigger. I have a dot there, so I just make it into a figure. Uh, maybe carry a bag or something. Okay. Very, very light. 
Amen. Let's talk about it. I think that's we should leave it white. I think yeah, it's already too much. I think I, I lost my temp my uh, rhythm. If I could bring that. Oh, forgot the detail of on the lavatory. So, uh, what color is it? It's a white, right? So, maybe it, it just use light blue or something to outline a, a kind of dome shape with a maybe a small one, maybe something. Yeah, just just like a script. <clears throat> um, make sure the usually in Western painting would do you know something cast shadow very important on the ground. We don't really find them necessary in. in Chinese painting. So, as long as the root is kind of grab, like a like a claw, it's fine. So you don't need to tuck it in with a shadow. Just indicate that kind of claw. All right. And where to sign? Do you think? You can you can make a, just a signature, maybe you know, on the corner, I think. Maybe on this side when it's dry. I'll do that. So my color is uh, just a dessert, not uh, really most important in in the composition. But just keep it uh, light. Yeah. I, I think this should be fine. I will need the white. Yeah. That's it. Um, I think it will turn lighter. Let's dry it. If we, if we want. Uh, it will naturally dry. So we will, we will, we will, we will show more of the, the, uh, the paper color. I hope it's not. But if you want to lighten it, you can spray some water just to block it a little bit. The most important part is uh, the composition. If you are not uh, uh, advanced in that, you can start from copy first. And then uh, you will learn, and then you go live, you, you will see how the artists uh, um, have uh, The selection part, you know, what to do, what not to do. Uh, so I had to give up a lot of details. I really liked it first, and then try to make it work uh, for me. So that's the important part. I can show you some of the uh, lessons I learned <laughs> when I do home study before this. So it, it does take lots of try and error uh, in my own uh, Experience. That's the way you learn. You, you you are your best teacher. And what I do is, I, you know, I I put all my versions here, and then you uh, you choose maybe one aspect in that failed painting is good. So you keep that. And if you collect your good points from uh, your fair failures, you will make a progress. I have done um, like a twenty. 
20 some versions before I enter a show uh, for my first project, the, the Yanzi River. This is my first attempt last night. As you can see, uh, it's not coherent, not harmonious. I did the, the a more, you know, I painted the wall like a, the red brick, exactly like the photo shows. Uh, so that's the, the a big lesson you can see right there. And I did all the details, the little uh, features of the architecture, uh, in, like the eight pillows. You don't need that really <laughs> from that distance. So uh, squint, squint is what they use in oil painting. You, you just filter out all the unnecessary, just paint the big one, big uh, impression of it. So one uh, French, Commentator, uh, art critic, says uh, football is uh, uh, oriental ex or, or East uh, expressionism or uh, impressionistic. I mean, impressionistic painting. Yeah, he paints his impression, not uh, not uh, the real. Um, you know what we see. More uh, uh, subjective impressionism, maybe. Yeah, not optical impressionism. Um, I'm going to show some of uh, my early work, as we mentioned uh, before. So let me just uh, move this. Uh, let me just take this down for a moment. Let it dry. I'll, I'll put it back when it's dry, okay? And then I'll show you some old paintings. Thank you. So, uh, the if I can hang it. Um. <clears throat> I got a row of uh, um, my earliest work to show you what, what is uh, uh, socialist realism that uh, uh, Fubao uh, was uh, Working with, you know, with because uh, in in that time of the uh, in history in contemporary Chinese history, everything is like a U.S. today. It's a political oriented, and uh, political correct is most important. You understand? Yeah. So for us, it's like second cultural revolution here. Um, I'm sorry if uh, I violate you know some political correctness here, but. It's a, it's, a, it's a kind of a sad to see ideology um, take control of everything. And I can show you my experience. And hopefully, it will. It will um, in the other opposite is uh, Jackson Pollock. We need that spirit <laughs> uh, to, to continue here, not to, you know, the Soviets, the Soviet uh, Union kind of influence that we have here. I think uh, Jackson Park is sponsored by CIA to, to uh, uh, yeah, they purchase the, the artist's art to support uh, freedom. <laughs> the same thing, you know, but in a twisted way. Not, not, it's a, another kind of propaganda also. Yeah, but it's good for more, uh, more room for creativity. Yeah. Anyway, that's a long... Um, so any politics has to do with art. So you can really get rid of that. Or just like, you know, just like commercial art is still. Um, so my first painting. I was uh, 13 and a half when I started. When I finished, I'm, I'm, I was 15 years old. So this one is, uh, um, and after that, I, I paint many uh, copies of my own as a gift to the uh, visitors from uh, other country to my hometown. And uh, the school, the uh, high school is a key point school. Um, my father actually was the principal, but uh, he was asked during the Cultural Revolution, he was working in the uh, garden or the, the uh, cleaning of the swimming pools in the night. But yeah, that, like something like that. Um, but, um, yeah, I was doing this, and you can see the laboratory, observatory, observatory, I'm sorry, 
of the, the, the mountain. It's, it's at the highest point of the city, just like Mount Wilson here. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I climb on the mountain, I see the bridge on a good day, very, very uh, far away. The Yangtze River Bridge is the longest bridge in the world. Still, I think uh, they built several after that. But this is the first one they built independently uh, without any foreign help. That uh, The Soviet Union tried uh, to help, but uh, they, when they broke, they, they withdraw every, all the experts, and the Chinese have to do it on their own. So this is the only bridge that connects the, the South and North China with the rail, railway, and also the, 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 uh, uh, the what is it called, highway, <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is one of the four achievements, scientific achievements, uh, so, uh, you know, of the country, uh, along with the nuclear bomb, the satellite. This is the only peaceful one, <laughs> and the other thing I forgot. Uh, to you know, just like um, North Korea tried to get to establish their um, status of, uh, as a as a, a, a strong power, you know. Um, so this is, this is why we exaggerate that, exaggerate that. I have a documentary showing other artists are doing, uh, Subhash also did this, and he probably did something like that. So I make it even bigger. <laughs> um, and this one, uh, there's a not first award, but it was featured in the newspaper that, make, that everybody have to subscribe at the time. It's like propaganda. Uh, government sponsored the only newspaper in the province. I, I was featured in that newspaper. Uh, and uh, so this is just the cityscape. Each one I, it took me like uh, two days to do. So I got to like a painting vacation every time the school commissioned me to do. <laughs> like, and my commission is not to take the class, yeah, regular class. So this is a, a small mountain, a, a small mountain with the TV station tower, and some and the construction. I, I can tell you know which street is this. Uh, actually, yeah, and there are some building uh, left from the Republic. Actually, it's a it's a uh, department store building, something like that. Um, yeah, you can see houses. Of, and lots of uh, houses. I added those. Uh, this is the spring season, like now. Um, so I learned how to do this, uh, these flowers in spring. And I also, to make um, the, the painting more red, to match mm -hmm. that uh, flag, I, I added this. It's like uh, the sunshine uh, in the morning. Uh, it's not red footage, but it, it's like autumn and spring. But actually, this is supposed to be the the sunshine, so you can see the river, Yangtze River is uh, uh, red also. So everything is red, uh, it's uh, you know, derived from that red flag. The three red flags is a symbol of uh, um, the modern, uh, modernization or something, uh, uh, the lead by the, led by the Communist Party. Um, this is the harbor, and you can see the steamers, uh, some traditional boat, but mostly, yeah, the content, the new, and this is uh, like uh, the uh, chemical plant. Chemical plant, the, as uh, football shoot, there's a lot of uh, smoke in gray. At that time, I think that we have some kind of concept that smoke should be white, not gray. So it's less pollution, <laughs> not like uh, today, you know, any smoke is not good, right? We try to, I just did the, the smoke in white in outline instead of uh, football should does that with gray, like big smoke all over his painting. You can see. Um, so this this was signed uh, 1975. Uh, I copied this from a, a teacher, my calligraphy teacher, uh, in the school. He he wrote this first, and then I I I copy. So my my signature even better than what I do now. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah, it's uh, I was born fifty nine. So this is uh, uh, the year before I graduate, uh, two years before graduation. It's about seventeen years old. 
so yeah, two years after the initial, and this is probably the 30s version or something, in the 30s, yeah, the first is like 23, uh, it's the one featured in the newspaper, I didn't get that back, this is the, a copy of that. It's not the best copy, uh, maybe, yeah, just uh, my parents kept, yeah. Um, that they brought to me with the newspaper this before they passed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <coughs> and some other uh, similar project. And since that, um, I become kind of uh, uh, famous in, in painting landscapes. And so I, I, so I didn't do any flower and birds and. Uh, until like four years ago. Actually, I did, I did the flowers and bird, I'll show you, but not to getting into shows easily as those. Another one I did in 1977, that's pretty late, just before I uh, graduated. Uh, it's a, it's a, an irrigation system, mm -hmm. water control system. Um, they, they try to, uh, because the South China has a lot of water and rain, but the dry in, in the north, they, they try to uh, build dams so the water will go north. That's the, the what's it called, Nan Shui Bei Diang. That's to, uh, Mao Chairman Mao has poems in Hong Yu Sui Sui Xing Fan Zuo Lang. So uh, water, um, the, the red the, or the plum, uh, plum rain, like this season, we have lots of rain, just like the plum rain season, uh, will follow a man's will, his will to become, uh, you know, like uh, become waves of, uh, along, you know, follow man's will. That's the kind of idea. They, he, he also built this, the three gorge den, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he has that kind of, uh, Ambition to control everything. Tame nature. To tame the tame, yeah, the tame the, the the water. That's the his poem. So Fu Bao Shi does a lot of uh, um, Mao's um, illustration of Mao's poem, poetic uh, paintings. Uh, yeah, but I learned a lot of doing. Well, you can see my progress on on painting trees, uh, like two years later after this uh, this one. Uh, so, uh, I really like the buff water. Yeah, the water takes the uh, right. Yeah. Uh, it's more realistic. I, I went there I, I, uh, with my mother. <laughs> she uh, took me there and uh, we, we, we just standing there, sketch this water, stare at the water coming out from this. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, the uh, wakes of a uh, oh. wave yeah, yeah. In, of a ship. Yeah, that's the kind of. Um, okay, and here's a more, uh, I think the last exhibition uh, before, actually, yeah, as you can see, they the exhibited in my city. Uh, wow. uh, this one is, uh, yeah, 1978, one year after that, that one, so it's 1978. Actually, I, uh, I already in college, but uh, I, I submitted before the year, this is uh, February. So this one was exhibited when I was in college already, yeah, in the university already. And this, uh, my, my university is right be beside this, in the city of, uh, in the center of Nanjing, the Nanjing University. And you will see this is Kulo, the Zhuang Pavilion. It's right next to our campus, yeah. And this one was, uh, um, exhibited in my university after uh, the uh, city exhibition. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's my favorite painting during that period. It's my best of uh, uh, the Fubashi style. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you can see uh, I I can actually I just kind of bike on the street like that. I can go there, but this is an imaginative angle. So I got all the. And this mountain is the same as this mountain, you see? Yeah, yeah and uh, this pavilion is uh, behind this. It's yeah. right here, behind this. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the uh, station, I mean, the observatory, probably, in, in the far back. 
and the, these buildings are all recognized. You can see this one is interesting. This is the the square people's square uh, stage. You mean the, the you know when we have the like uh, the, the march on the national day or something. It, when Mao passed away, we have this uh, uh, service on this in this big uh, square. Now there are flowers. This is gone, but you can see that's the place people have been the assembly and <laughs> all the. Uh, government-sponsored um, activities here, yeah. And uh, this is my favorite restaurant. Uh, yeah, a lot of. Uh, oh, this is the theater, the, the movie theater, <laughs> and this is a food food uh, department store. Yeah, food store actually. And this kind of tree is uh, the sycamore tree, very uh, beautiful in Nanjing. So you, you got shade in the, throughout the summer, everybody, you know, the, uh, the Kuomintang uh, government, they planned this in the 1930s, uh, they, but they become big when I grew up. Now they cut off many of those to expand the, the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, but it was so nice. And I have this... Uh, the blues. The blues, yeah. blues. This is not, this is inspired by, maybe from, uh, other artists like Zhang Naqian. <laughs> I, I think I got uh, Zhang Naqian's book in 1980s, not, not this time. But, so from, uh, but we have that, yeah. Okay, that's So that's my best piece in this, uh, in this uh, style. And uh, some early ones. In, uh, oh, this one is done in. Uh, uh, in this season, you know, when it's after football shoe style, Mei uh, Hua the Plum Hill uh, during the spring, uh, in the rain, yeah, so you can see the sky is kind of gray. So I don't have to paint the, the red sky, it's just uh, uh, from a, a day trip with my. Uh, Girlfriend, <laughs> date, 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 yeah, this is my date. Uh, actually, she was uh, uh, my first wife, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can show one of her paintings here. Uh, we learned from each other. Let me see, where did I put? Here. I only have one of his, her paintings. That's a, uh, that's a, yeah, this one uh, is very different uh, traditional style. Uh, as I was doing on the bridge painting in the uh, 50 you know, of age, she was doing this on her own, not for exhibition, just you know as a hobby. Uh, and uh, this is the painting she did before I I, I met her. And later, you know, we we influence each other. She, she would change her style into more uh, like uh, the football style, but I learned more into uh, the traditional landscape. She didn't sign, it, but uh, I, I don't know where. I mean, she got the sample from. Here's a copy of some old publication, I think. And this is uh, looks like. Uh, uh, okay, it's a snow scenery. Maybe in, uh, after one of the four ones, the Qin Dynasty style. Yeah, that's her favorite. I know. Uh, oh, oh, the Master Seeds Garden kind of style. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, if you like, we can try to copy in the in the next next. I like class. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you like this instead of. I like all. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's one. Uh, okay, speaking of the, the flower and the birds painting, I can show you one thing. Uh, 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 it's another story. Okay, um, yeah, my, my teacher did uh, this uh, uh, sparrows, mm -hmm. and uh, I did the, the flowers. So we, we kind of combine the revolutionary and the traditional. So yeah, the, 
the, the original uh, painting has a lot of reds. That's the, mm -hmm. the time uh, inference mm -hmm. uh, at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting painting. I, I think uh, I tried, but not. Uh, not getting into the show, but this is how we um, twist the uh, traditional technique to make it uh, more acceptable politically uh, to to get exhibition government sponsored exhibitions. And this is a, this is a painting called. Can you hold the yeah. side for me? It's a big one. Okay, let me explain a little bit. <laughs> so. Um, the idea is uh, my my idea. Uh, the Mao um, has this quote that's uh, uh, to uh, accumulate guang uh, to store to store to, this is storage like a barns right mm -hmm. of uh, grains and uh, uh, every drop of uh, every seeds of the uh, the, the plant, uh, I mean, the, the grain should go in, into this uh, storage, government uh, uh, grain storage, or, or it's just like it like prepared for nuclear war with the Soviets at that time. They almost, uh, I think, started the war. So we, we dig, um, like, a, uh, what do you call this, a bun bunker, right? And the good storage for grants to prepare for for the wall, so that's the time um, background. Okay, this is like the the grand barns, and these are the children. I, we used to go to the countryside help to harvest in harvest season. Like here's the harvest machine. You can see the combine, com uh, but they cannot get every every grain out of the field. So the children go in before the sparrows to get those. <laughs> and non, non, so it's a twist. So, so the sparrows are uh, competing with the, the children. Yeah. yeah. The, in Chinese, uh, uh, I, I call this the title Ma Xue Zhao Ji. So my, uh, sp sp sparrow got uh, Worried about the food, you know, grains on the ground. That's the the title. Um, and the sparrows are, are much bigger than the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I my because my, my teacher did this on the branch of uh, the the uh, uh, plum blossom, and I I changed it into this. We yeah. we, we had that where he would he, he would not do this for me, but he just painted a, a, a regular you know with. I have that painting actually. With a uh, uh, white white plum blossom like outline and the birds, yeah. and then yeah, and then I I change the branch into the electric wire. Uh, this this style is a, a traditional outlined tree style. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of popular because they used the composition like a, a Western perspective, you know. And uh, they developed some new kind of abstract fractal patterns not found in the traditional book, but same idea. Instead of the triangles, uh, squares, we never see them in the in the past. But it looks fresh, yeah. More more uh, contemporary, yeah. So I I learned this technique. So this is done before the bridge. So it's uh, my 14 years old painting. Yeah. 14 years old. <laughs> I was something like that, a little kid. Yeah. But you can see my brain started to mature earlier. So I had to uh, survive the communists. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any thing like a, you know like political discipline as later. I didn't have that awareness, but uh, we we're happy. We're quite happy to do this kind of things. Yeah.
And then, uh, yeah, the, after that, it's, uh, it's more uh, like a traditional literary painting. This is done in college, just a single. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is typical. So that technique I already learned in my 14 uh, of age. Mm -hmm. I studied lots of um, sparrows. And then when I do this, it's just a piece of cake. <laughs> I, I can't. Uh, I think it must be my college years when I studied the uh, book of uh, poetry. Yes, uh, one of the Shi Jing, Shi Jing, the peasant wife sending uh, lunch to the field. I mount them myself, and you can see a patch there. I made a mistake on the foot. I made it smaller <laughs> with, this, with a patch. That's a, just a small. Uh, oh, here is an even earlier painting. My first uh, to collect the, the uh, uh, to collect the uh, you know. The, to do sketch of this uh, laboratory, uh, the observatory, I went to this uh, this mountain in very early early uh, in the daylight in the in the just like raining night after the rain, so I can see the clouds rising just like today in here. Uh, so that my my calligraphy was too bad. So my mother did the inscription, the story for me. Yeah. Oh. My mother's story. Mm -hmm. I mean, writing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my mother's uh, description. It's 1975. So it's two years before the bridge printing, the, the, the later version. I, the same year I did that bridge building, yeah, the original version, yes. Uh, but you can see my uh, football shoe style. Um, watch and then the blue sky. Yeah, the, the washes, the pine trees. That's the uh, 14, 16 or 15. Oh, yeah, I was born in 1959, 69, 10, 16 years old. Right? 16 years old. Okay. No, this is pretty wild. I, I didn't know this. I have this thing. It's, uh, it's in the college years, I think. The Chibai Shu style, I think. Chibai Shu style. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is in college because this seal uh, is given by a classmate in college, done by a, a, a classmate. So that's it. And that's, uh, yeah, you can see the uh, my influence, my uh, uh, my my ex-wife. She is my greatest uh, um, teacher. <laughs> I mean, the, the first teacher in, in traditional painting. I was uh, then I was uh, so amazed by that. So that's, uh, when we went to a uh, a private lesson, with, you know, during the college to study that with the uh, uh, old master, the, the master of his garden manual. But I didn't forget this, of course. I still um, occasionally do this kind of uh, realistic painting, but, and so both. And I still um, study the, the Western, the study of Western watercolor really helps me to uh, manage the colors, I think, to, to, to see the colors. So basically, you, I see color differently. Uh, instead of just to identify the name of the, the color, I see more how much blue, how much red, and how much uh, yellow in it. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, you don't need to, to know the name, but you need to see in each color how, how much this, uh, you know, 
three primaries. Mm -hmm. So you can make up any color to keep them harmonious. Um, yeah. So this is your, the last class. What time is, is five minutes, uh, 10 minutes away? So you don't have time to do it, but I hope uh, you, you um, do it. Yeah, do it uh, for the next two weeks, <laughs> and then uh, show me okay. later. Yeah. So this is today's class, from premier to studio art. <laughs> okay. So the key is to think or to contemplate uh, sublime, sublimely to uh, go beyond life. Yeah. And the, the idea could be revolutionary, could be your personal expression, but whatever, it should be more than life, larger than life, yeah. And you should see beyond the, the world you, you normally see, yeah. So we have a face painting class in our room, so I got this uh, kiss coming <laughs> for the class. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, Oh, we didn't do the cars because they have a huge parking lot. Yeah, this is a, a little bigger oh, than that. Just, so yeah. it, just to show you the proportion, mm -hmm. the proportion of the painting. Usually, it's exaggerated to yeah. make the figure small, so the trees mm -hmm. uh, feels bigger. bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still broadcasting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. How? So, um, thank you for showing us. Wonderful to see you Thank you. Yeah. yeah. For, for the, <laughs> for I show you my, uh, I hope this inspire you, in the, uh, encourage you to, so you can see how I started. I'm not really a talented person. I, I just uh, uh, try to meet the requirement. <laughs> yeah, meet, yeah. yeah, yeah. Artist. Artist. Yeah, it takes time um, to develop this. Okay, see you in two weeks. Yeah, see you in two weeks. Thank you. I like how the that brought.